filming vertically, and I'm about to tell you why. I have just come up with a mind-blowing idea. So when you're filming vertically, you're probably a few moments before making that filming, the same issues that I had tonight. I'm out here doing my thing, taking some pictures of some birds, right? And I'm going, do I film horizontally tonight? Do I film vertically? What, what, what do, do I, I do? do? Because if I film vertically, God, it's great. I can put it on TikTok and I can put it on Instagram, Instagram Reels and Stories and I can, can use it on YouTube. YouTube. Sure. Do me because then do I like really film again in horizontally, right? To be able to have a YouTube like this. Or what if I want to use that content down horizontally, to like right? To be able to have a YouTube or like this. some other type of work or documentary I'm working on. This stuff goes through my head and I'm sure it's gone through yours too. So this just pops into my head. I already film everything in 4K. Do you film everything in 4K? And if you don't, you may want to consider buying after this video and here's why you're going to need to be in 4k you see from this point forward no matter what i'm never going to stress again if i'm filming in horizontal or vertical and this is why because as long as you're using something in the sense of adobe premiere final cut da vinci or like what i use i personally my own belief i pay for it wondershare filmora is like the g it's everything if you're not using it i'll just leave it at that but regardless of that I can reframe in Wondershare Filmora and those other three that I just named and I've used Final Cut and I've used Adobe Premiere they're great I've never had my hands on DaVinci so I couldn't tell you either word on what that's like but regardless of that when you're able to reframe in 4k that if you're as long as you're using the rule of thirds you can set yourself up in the beginning to make sure that you're standing in this kind of dead space to the side and look right here what do I got Look right here. I've got my third middle section, which is the dimensions of, huh, it's vertical. That's right. So now the same video that I'm making for my YouTube channel and for making for you, I'll be able to use that same video through Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. So now I've just solved my own problem. The question is, have you already figured this out? And I'm just out here thinking, wow, I never thought about this and I should have a long time ago. Maybe I was just left in the dark, but for some reason that just popped into my head and I thought I would share it with you this tonight because this whole concept of this short thing that we're all like stuck in right now right was nothing more than TikTok literally showing up just before the whole COVID thing and we were all stuck inside our homes and we're on our phones just flipping and checking out this new great thing called TikTok and with that then it boiled and spilled over into Instagram with shorts and reels and they were kind of trying to size something but then that took off right and so now YouTube is making us dive towards these shorts and it's totally frustrating me and i'm sure it's frustrating you too so maybe that will work for you i sure hope it does i know it's gonna work for me without a doubt because i hate double shooting everything i like to just shoot on the fly i don't script anything and i just say what's coming from the heart and i feel like when i do the verticals and then i do my youtube vlog but when i get to the vertical i'm pushed into this whole time slot thing you know is, is it one minute is it three minutes do i got 10 minutes which one did i have 10 minutes i could do on which one do i only have one minute on i gotta be under 30 seconds 45 seconds could be too long am i gonna have an end screen am i not who's gonna watch it how do i get people to watch it constantly and it just kind of rolls over and then i could get like all these extra views but at the end of the day they're not you and this is what i mean by that you see there's something about you and me on youtube and with that said it's completely different than this could be you and me in the short world. See, in shorts, I'm just kind of checking stuff out. And you probably do the same thing too. But have you ever thought at the end of the day, after you've looked at all these shorts and like you're laying in bed and falling asleep and you're like, huh, what did I educationally learn from anything that I saw on shorts? I, I, I don't. I really haven't. I really cannot say that I've ever stopped and go, wow. Yeah, that, that really picked up. I might at the time go, wow, that's interesting. Wow, that's great. I'll have to share that. But there's never a time where I remember someone's name. I go, wow, I want to subscribe to that because I genuinely want to go back and watch their information and learn from what they had to tell me. I might subscribe. And yeah, I've seen that too. My YouTube channel, when I took uh, about two weeks time and I really pushed on some shorts, I did see an influx in subscribers. 
But how many of those subscribers are actually, could be you coming back to my channel? I don't think that's happening because you see, I don't think that people, including myself, when we're scrolling like this or like this or like this back and forth on our cell phones, really pay attention to what's really being going in these eyes right here. It's more of like getting a Snickers bar or a cotton candy or being at a circus and getting an elephant ear. It's a, it's a short-term fix, right? It, it's actually, actually fixing these part of the lobe in the back of our brain and it's <laughs> making us feel good and like, but one of you actually said, wow, that was great. I want to go back and check that person. Now you are probably exactly like me where you've actually subscribed during those reels and YouTube shorts. And then later on you're like, huh, I wonder, I gotta go back here to my YouTube and I gotta grab my mouse and I gotta search around and try to figure out who was that and what were they doing and what channel they were. And that's why I feel that the real viewer, the, the, the content, the individuals, the individuals like, like you, you are horizontal, right? Because that's what YouTube's about. And with that said, there's getting to know each other, right? I, you get to know me this way and I get to know you by posting comments or having threads or just reaching out to me, asking me questions through my other social media or even through um, emails, which I share that openly to everybody. Um, you can see that down below or on my YouTube channel. And I'll help anybody out. I, I have no problem doing that. And I like that form of communication. I think in this world, that's important. So with all that information I just gave you and just coming out of my mouth, I want you to remember this. If you decide to do what I'm now always gonna do, you're gonna have to have a couple things to make sure you can do this. You're gonna have to do what I've already done. You're gonna have to film everything in 4K. And in order to do that, you gotta have a good camera. I personally, you know, I'm gonna recommend Sony. The next piece after having a camera that you feel comfortable with that shoots 4K is going to be, you're gonna need the proper area to hold all this information because a 4K video is not the same as like a high def or 1080 video. It takes a lot of air area and a lot of compression area on a disc or a hard drive to hold. So you're gonna need somewhere to hold all this information. And then you're gonna need something to be able to reframe this in the software sense. Again, I use Filmora. Wondershare. I love it. I think it's great. I would highly recommend that if you haven't tried it, try it. And I've been using Filmora Wondershare since 9.0. Um, just the updates and how often they update everything and provide new stuff, it's just, God, it's nice. I mean, the audio's there, the titles are there, the transitions are there, the stickers are there. I could go on and on and just get way off slime, but that's gonna be a whole nother topic and I'm not going there. So, Phil Moral Wondershare, if you haven't tried it, look into it. But of course, there's Adobe Premiere, which I've used many years ago and think, still think it's a great software. I'm pausing because I did one of the best videos I've ever done in my life in movie with Adobe Premiere and it was a very emotional, very emotional movie. So there's there's some heart piece there for me for Adobe Premiere. And there's also a Final Cut. Did some great stuff with that. I mean, I've created like a whole TV show and uh, that was proposed to Discovery Channel and did some other stuff and there's a mosquito flying there. Sorry about that. But that's just a, a little pin drop there about the Sony 10 to 18 millimeter lens and how good the clarity is that you can see a mosquito at about that far from the lens. It, it should be maybe a macro lens. Anyhow, back to it. So, and the last one is DaVinci. Never had my hands on it. Bottom line, you want a software that's going to be able to give you proper reframing so that when somewhere about in this area in to here, you're gonna have good horizontal, not squished, not rounded out looking tops and bottoms. And then when you have regular horizontal like we have now, it's nice and wide and clean and clear. I, I now have solved my own problem. Maybe it'll help you to solve a problem, I don't know. I look at everything that if I share it and it helps one person, then it's like paying it forward and then we just all keep doing that and the world goes around and around it's a better place maybe more smarter and intelligent too i appreciate you watching if you haven't had a chance to you can find me on instagram you can find me on twitter you can find me on facebook you can find me on pinterest and you can find me here on youtube and even on TikTok. but my main places are instagram and facebook believe it or not so and they're all searchable to me at just at set to autofocus S-E-T-T-O-F-O-C-U-S. Set to autofocus. 
So never was in a spelling bee. Probably a good thing that I wasn't. But anyhow, yeah, so by all means, hit me up, follow me. I've got some great pictures through all the years of the work I've done. If you haven't seen my Instagram, I mean, it's just like, you can kind of go through time and see the different career mindsets where I was at. And it's pretty neat because I look back at it now and I'm like, wow, I can't believe I was part of that or I did that or I took that photo or every one of them has amazing little stories. And if you go there and you see something and you have a question, just post it. And I go through there about once every couple weeks to a month. And uh, if anybody has any comments, I'll answer them. And then for here on anything with YouTube, you post down below, I'm, I'm on it. I'm like a fly on horse. Have a good day. Enjoy the time that you have of the rest of your day while you're watching this. And by all means, you already know, and a subscription, a subscribe, a thumb, a like, I would greatly appreciate it because it lets YouTube know that I'm just not some spam scammer out there and that I'm actually a real person. Have a great rest of whatever day you have and I'll see you in the next video.